Hey everyone, this is Joseph, and today we're going to go over the stupid Easy Motion Vim plugin. So what we're going to do is take a look first at the Easy Motion plugin, and then see what stupid Easy Motion changes in order to, what I feel, make things a bit less cluttered. So first, let's take a look at the Easy Motion plugin. Easy Motion is a very popular Vim plugin that attempts to make navigating the document a lot easier. So let's check it out. Let's clone this URL. So let's click get clone it. And then we change to it. So this is what the plugin structure looks like. In case you're not familiar with installing Vim plugins, this is meant to mirror the structure of your .vim directory. So you should be able to change to the dot vim directory. If this directory doesn't exist, you need to make it, and then make it have this structure. So in order to install the Easy Motion plugin, all you have to do is copy the contents of each directory to the corresponding directory in the dot vim directory. Directory, 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 directory. All right, that's it. So when this, with installation complete, let's see what it actually does. So I'm going to open up this JavaScript file, and let's see what this thing does. So we can ask Easy Motion to let us navigate the document by word, and we do this by using the leader key twice and then the key W. And the leader key by default is backslash. So backslash, backslash, W. Okay, so it has all the words highlighted. And I personally feel like this is kind of much. So let's see here. Let's say I want to, let's say I'm just looking at this, looking at my code while I'm working, and I want to, let's say I wanted to get to this L. Let's see, my cursor was somewhere over here, but I wanted to get to this word look right there. So what I could do is do backslash backslash W, and then say, okay, let's do the capital H. And it gets us there. And that's cool. And I like that. But what I don't like is the fact that it takes up basically the entire screen. I don't think that's, mm, I don't think that's needed. I think it's a bit much because I'm fairly decent at going from line to line vertically. I think it's not so bad, especially whenever you're using the relative line numbering with Vim 7.3. So like right now I'm on line 40, but I could toggle this to be relative to my current line so I can know exactly how many lines move up or down. So let's say I want to get to that if statement near the top. So I see that it is eight lines above, so I can just do 8k, and then I'm there. So I don't really see the need for Easy Motion to help me navigate the document vertically. Horizontally, it does everything I need it to, but I don't want it to do all the vertical stuff. I don't need it to make anchors for lines other than the one I'm currently on. So that's what stupid easy motion does. It's actually easy motion restricted to the current line. So what I'm going to do really quick is remove easy motion, even though you don't have to, but I kind of don't see the point of having both of those together, but that's your call. And now what I'm going to do is install stupid easy motion with basically the same procedure. So let's go to the temporary directory. Let's clone the repo. And let's copy everything over. And you'll need to be sure to restart them. So now I can do something like leader leader w and it applies the the targets 
towards on the current line, and it doesn't concern itself with anything else other than the current line. And I think that's pretty nice. So let's find. Let's just pick a random thing. So let's pick out this default here. So I would say, okay, if I was here, I'd go, okay, let's go five down, liter, liter, W, and then F. And that's it. And that's pretty fast. If you're not doing something like this, then you would be like, okay, five down. That's about four words, maybe. No, another four words. Okay, let's go back. This is a lot of guesswork, and I really don't like that. So by using stupid easy motion, it's pretty consistent. It's going to take you almost a predetermined number of characters every single time. So let's say I want to get to um, the I and parse int and this line here. I want to get to the big I and parse int, but I want to get to the second one. So I can do leader leader F big I and then B. Well, let's say I want to get to parse float and I want to get on this O right here. So I could do leader leader F O and then D and then I'm there. So it's really fast. And to make this even faster, you can edit your vimrc to have some mappings for these commands. So I mapped leader leader w to co, and I type in Dvorak, so that would be cs for your query users, or control s for your query users, and control e would be control d for query users. But I wouldn't recommend that since Control D is really useful, so you could find something else. So what does this big W do? Well, it deals with words separated by spaces. So you're going to have less things to anchor it onto. So like float is a word, and then function is a word. But those aren't, and those will show up whenever you use little w. But if you're just looking at words separated by spaces, then we have this here, and the next one will be return, and so on. So we can see the difference there. And I have big T mapped to leader leader F. So all I would have to do is big T and then a character, and it would anchor that within the current line. So let me save this, and let's reload Vim so the new mappings will take effect. So now, let's see here, let's find something, hmm, let's look for the last return. So I had control O set as my mapping for the word, so I do control O, and then I can see that right there. So let's pick something else out. I want, hmm, I want the O that is in now on this line. So let's do big T O. Oh, that happens to only to be, to be the only one there. So that's a bit. That was cheating a bit. Let's see here. I want the last N on this line. So big T N E. I'm there. So that stupid easy motion, pretty simple. But I found it to be very useful whenever I created it, and I still find it very useful. I think it helps me be, be very, very fast whenever I'm doing basic editing. It helps make um, movement between movement in a line a lot less guesswork. It's going to take about the same number of strokes every single time. I don't have to think so much. It's just what character do I want to use, if I want to use characters, or if I want to do my search based on words, I just use Control o and it's really easy. So that's stupid easy motion. I hope you find it useful. And please leave your feedback. Thanks.